Welcome to the recap of the White Sox 3-2 loss, giving up a run in the ninth against the Minnesota Twins, who extend their MLB best win streak to eight consecutive ball games tonight at Guaranteed Rate Field on Dog Night. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at Wintrust, home of White Sox checking. As I tell you every night, even if the team's not that good, the debit card is super cool. Click on the QR code on your screen or go to Wintrust.com slash White Sox for all the details, member FDIC. Folks, White Sox jumped on the Twins early. Got two runs in the first on a ringing hit by Andrew Vaughn, who hopefully is starting to come around because he's too good a hitter to look as inept as he did for a good portion of the start of this season. And then Aloy Jimenez drove in a run. It's 2 nothing Sox, but they spit it right back. Garrett Crochet, who I thought was really good for five innings with seven Ks, only gave up two runs, unfortunately. In the second inning, he gave up a home run to Carlos Santana that tied the ballgame. It stayed that way all the way to the top of the ninth inning. Sox bullpen did a good job, but then in the ninth against Brevia, the Twins able to get Buxton on, and then Max Kepler delivers, drives home Buxton. It's a 3-2 ball game. Sox got a little bit of traffic going in the ninth, uh, but they get a strikeout. Uh, their closer comes in. Caleb Theobar did the job and was able to shut down the White Sox, and it ends 3-2. But here's my question for you. I can break down these games all season long, and I will. That's why you follow us here on the recap. My question is, Chris Getz, what's the plan? Because a 36-year-old Tommy Pham and a 34 or 35-year-old Robbie Grossman, that's not a plan. When Rick Hahn was in charge with Kenny Williams, they may have made their share of mistakes. But guess what? When they traded away Chris Sale and Jose Quintana and Adam Eaton and they decided to go buy Luis Robert from Cuba and they acquired Aloy Jimenez and Dylan Cease, there was a plan. They were getting young, talented players and then hoping they would be able to develop them. And they won 93 games the first year of Tony. This, this is no plan. A bunch of old dudes, Chris Flexen, he's not part of your future. He's not. Like Corey Lee, yeah, good young catcher. Run him out there. Let him play. Shoemake. Just some of the dudes that are running out there. My question would be, and you deserve better, What's the plan? Because I think the White Sox fan base showed up the other night with 28,000 strong. They would support a plan, not a bunch of journeyman veterans trying to hang in there. Our player of the game tonight, I'm going to give it to Andrew Vaughn for the run scoring hit in the first. He did a really good job. So he is our Chicagoland Chevy dealers, White Sox player of the game. Sox lose 3-2, snapping their three-game win streak. Back at it with the Twins again tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night. Ask that question. What's the plan, Chris Getz? Take that.